Hi, and welcome to part two. This is David with Commotion Engine. I am going to just give you a very fast overview of rigging a character, basically getting a character ready for animation. And characters are probably the most complex piece of artwork you're going to work with, just because they have so many different movements in them. And when you're creating them, you need to keep the animation in mind. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard for uh, the animator to take it and to actually do anything with it. So let me show you very quickly um, some the character right here and this guy's already been rigged up ready to go you can see that I've taken each limb or each part of him that needs to be animated separately and I've put it in a different layer so you've just got all the different pieces here um, they can just be independently controlled now if you look there are some special layers here for different expressions so you've got a layer for when he's blinking right over here and then you've got a layer for just his eyes in a normal position. And what the animator does is they just switch between those two layers just to create that illusion. And by the same token, you have a neutral expression right here, and then you have a smile right over here. So you need to just separate everything out kind of like this is done. The other thing before we move out of here that I want uh, to mention is Look at the way the limbs are constructed. You can see that they have this nice rounded edge right at the pivot points, the points where they're going to bend. And that's really helpful because when these layers start to get rotated by the animator, if there's a sharp edge there, that sharp edge is going to show up. And so you want it to be nicely rounded just so that it works better. And let me, let me just show you how that works. I'm going to go over to After Effects, and I've imported the same piece of artwork. This is how it comes over. Same layers right over here. And you can see, if I take the forearm here and rotate it, when I rotate it around, we're not getting any edges right here that open up because this piece of artwork has that rounded end. And it's important to, when you construct stuff, to keep those types of things in mind. Um, and again, we've got just the different expressions here that we can cycle between. And uh, the other thing that sometimes happens is when uh, when an illustrator is creating the artwork they just think about okay let's just make the character uh, look good and just be presentable but what they don't think about is that when the character is going to move you're going to need all of the different limbs to kind of be independently illustrated for example you have the character's leg over here and the leg is hidden behind the other leg so when you're just looking at it like this you really wouldn't have to create what was back there but when it's animated we're going to need this extra artwork behind here so that when he starts walking, we're not revealing parts of the image that are not there. One thing we get a lot is maybe a character has their hand behind their back. Um, we need the entire hand. We need the entire arm. We can't just have uh, just a small piece of it. Otherwise, it's not going to animate correctly. Anyway, those are just some things to keep in mind when you're illustrating. I hope this video was helpful.